In this portion, looking at the 6 Series tractors, we're specifically going to be looking at the 6M Series of tractors. If I were to find this series in one word, that would be versatility. With eight different models spanned across four different frame sizes and options from your transmission to cab to open operator station to axle choices, even some technologies such as AutoTrack and JD Link. There's lots of various applications that these 6M tractors can handle. So let's go ahead and first look through and do a breakdown of the different models within this series. So our numbering system for the models is going to be just the same as any of the smaller tractors so far that we've talked about in these series. So the six is going to signify the family. So this is a six family tractor. The M is going to signify then the series that it is. And then the numbers are going to represent the engine horsepower. So this is a 6145 M tractor. So smack dab right in the middle of this series. So let's talk through those eight models. In the first frame size, we're around the 6110 and the 6120. And that second frame size, we're around the 6130 and the 6140. And that third frame size, we're around the 6145 and the 6155. And the last largest frame size, we're gonna have the 6175 and the 6195 M. Major differences there are gonna be your wheelbase. So in the smaller 6110 and 6120, they've been redesigned to have the shortest wheelbase possible, about 96 inches or so um, when you consider the wheelbase. So the maneuverability is gonna be great. And then if you look at the largest frame sizes in that 6175 and the 6195, you're gonna be looking at about 110 inch wheelbase. So definitely a little bit more uh, longer of the tractor there. Let's talk about some of the different transmission options. There are four different transmissions available, various speeds available, and also even some creeper options available. So your base is gonna be your power quad, uh, which you're gonna have three different speed options there. And then each of those speed options, be it the 16, 20, or 24, you're gonna have availability of creeper speeds as well. Then your auto quad, you're gonna have two different speed options also available potentially with the creeper speeds. Then you also have your command quad, which is the newest transmission offering, one of the newer transmission offerings for the 6M series. And it's gonna be a, a combination of kind of that manual transmission, meet the auto power IVT transmission, um, incorporate some different things like set speeds, things like that, that you wouldn't necessarily have with your more traditional power quad and auto quad transmissions. And then last but not least, you do also now have the availability of the Auto Power IVT transmission available in the 6M series tractors. So what you might be familiar with in your larger row crop tractors, we're actually bringing down to the 6Ms um, where you have infinite variable speeds, the availability to have those set speeds and just nice, easy to use operations. Um, great for mowing, loading, things like that. Next, let's talk a little bit about the hydraulic options available on the 6M tractors. You're gonna have the option of the open or closed system, depending on which model that you're selecting. The open system is gonna be standard from your 6110 up to 6145, and then closed is gonna be standard on the 6155 up to the 6195. Now you can option for the opposite system if that's what you so choose. Now in your open system, your gallons per minute flow is gonna be at 20, and then at your closed system, you're gonna have 30 gallons per minute as well. Another difference between the two systems is that your open is gonna be only pressure compensated, whereas your closed system is gonna be pressure and flow compensated, which is gonna allow for something called a standby mode to essentially let your pump chill out if it's not being utilized. So it's gonna take less um, wear on your engine and utilize what, less horsepower uh, from the engine to operate that pump. So it really just depends on your, your operations that you're utilizing. If you are doing more um, multiple hydraulic functions at the same time, then your, your closed system would probably be a better option than your open system would be. Um, when we think about our SCV ports, uh, three come standard mechanical, uh, or you can get up to four and then a power beyond is also an option as well. Um, but your, your inputs here can be configured differently to where you can have various return ports as needed, be it low flow return, um, case drains, things like that. And so these tractors are really starting to step up to where you can utilize lots of different various implements that are gonna have different hydraulic needs, um, both to operate and then as it's being returned to the tractor as well. While we're back here, we'll just mention the hitch briefly. This rear hitch is a category two hitch. So we are starting to take on some, some larger capacities as far as implements and, and lift capacities and things like that as well. 
So from there, let's go ahead and take a look up here at the front of the tractor and we'll take a look at the engine and some serviceability points. Now we're gonna take a look at the engine here real quick and then talk about some serviceability points. So there are two different sizes of engines that are in the 6M series. We have the 4.5 liter that is found in the 6110M through the 6145M. And then we have the 6.5 liter, which is in the 6155M all the way up to the 6195M. So I'm just gonna pop the hood and we're just gonna to point to a few serviceability points, show you how easy and accessible everything is. So you have your hood release button right here, and then a little muscle. We can see that we have a pretty big tilt hood angle. So we've got a lot of nice access here to really be able to get to some of those filters and serviceability points. So over here on this side, you're gonna see these yellow, that'd be your dipstick, your oil fill here. Um, if you need a little more access to your radiator and some of your uh, filters, this easily lifts and pulls. And then moving on over to this side, you can see some of our uh, filters and whatnot are accessible over on this side. Um, some of our fluid fills as well. So nice big in, uh, engine compartment here as well in order to get to some of those basic checks. Um, we do have our battery accessibility over here on the right hand side of the tractor. We've got our windshield wash over here and then our fuel and then our def tank easy access over here by the operator station so that way we can easily get those filled up ready to go all right we're going to go ahead and close up the engine compartment And one thing I'd like to mention while we're here at the front of the tractor, even though this doesn't have it on it, the 6Ms do have an optional front hitch and front PTO capability. So if you are running maybe some sort of uh, snow blower or something like that here on the front, uh, the 6M is a great opportunity to run those types of implements. Some more optionality and some things to thinking about on the 6M tractors is the axle options. So when you think about maybe moving up into some larger applications, um, you can get the triple link suspension that the larger tractors have um, on these tractors for better ride quality and things like that. Um, or you can stay with the standard MFWD. Now when we're thinking about the rear axle, <coughs> You might want some different uh, options when it comes to spacing, right? Because again, if you are getting to some larger applications, be it you know crop spacing, things like that, um, you can go with the standard flange axle, which you can still have some various spacing options, or you could move up into the rack and pinion axle, which is gonna allow for basically an infinite um, options when it comes to spacing, and then a lot easier to change without completely dismounting the tire and whatnot. So, Something to consider, especially when you're looking at the larger models, be it the 6175M or the 6195M. All right, talking about the operator stations on the 6M series, uh, you do actually have the open operator station option available from the 6110M up to the 6155M. But on your two large frame, so it'll be the 6175 and the 6195M, it is a cab only option. But cabs are available all the way throughout the series with all the different models. So when we talk specifically then about the cabs themselves, we have three different cab options. The first one is gonna be your basic cab option. So what's gonna come with that is gonna be your corner post display, uh, your tilt and telescoping steering, and then also your ISO connector back here. So your implements, any uh, monitor you run for your implements back here, be connected back there. Moving then on up into the economy cab. Um, some differences that you're gonna see there above your basic cab is going to be um, you're going to have some mirror adjustments available to you. You're going to have your USBs, uh, charging stations as well. And then uh, you're also your air ride seat. So in the standard cab, which is what we're sitting in now, you're going to have your instructor seat option. So additional seating, you're going to have some additional storage. Uh, and then also, depending on your transmission option that you have on your tractor, a compact command arm. So similar to what you would see in the larger row crop tra tractors. The tilt and telescoping steering, so you have your tilt function by pulling down this lever and then you also have telescoping by unscrewing 
and then adjusting and then tighten it back into place. So very easy to find a comfortable steering position for uh, the operator. So taking a closer look here around the cab, uh, you're gonna have your left hand power reverser over here. So with your transmission, be forward and reverse. You have your turn signals and your blinkers. You're gonna have your lighting controls over here on your right hand side. So your kind of more your work lights or then your brighter field lights, um, windshield wiper controls, and then obviously your ignition. Down here on the floor, similar throughout all the rest of the tractors, clutch on the left, brakes on the right, uh, and then you do have a foot throttle down here as well. So really handy with that loader work um, or a different uh, mowing work if you need to accelerate and slow down quickly and you'd rather do it by the control of your foot. Moving over here to your right-hand console, because again, this is a right-hand console configured cab. Um, we're just gonna walk all through it. So again, your orange functions are gonna be anything related to the transmission. This transmission that we have is the Auto Quad Plus. This is the 24 speed option. Uh, easy way to kind of see that quickly is kind of count up how many ranges there are and knowing then that there are four gears within the range. So six ranges times four gears, 24 speeds. Uh, you have a hand throttle option here. Um, and then if you look here at your transmission control lever, um, kind of what some of these buttons are gonna be doing, this is going to be, um, your, your clutch button per se. So when you are shifting through your ranges, you can depress this, or if you wanna be old school, you can still utilize your foot clutch. Um, the rabbit and the turtle here are gonna to be to shift your gears. And then you also have this auto clutch button, and this is the differentiator between your power quad transmission. It's gonna allow you to automatically shift through the gears within that range. Um, you also then can control your gears here. Again, rabbit turtle, if you want to shift up and down the gear within the range. Um, and then down here, um, not necessarily related to the transmission, but more to engine speed, these are going to be your field cruise options. So with field cruise is you're setting essentially a engine speed, a constant engine speed. So you have two options here that your engine's going to be consistently trying to obtain and, and hold. So that's gonna help a lot on your overall fuel capacities, engine wear, things like that. Just make you operate a lot more efficiently. All right, so we talked there about the transmission. Um, next, anything in yellow is gonna be your PTO or power takeoff. So electric um, actuation here. So two, two function in order to engage, push down and then forward. Your hitch controls here. So um, basically any sort of set, set depths that you want or, or heights that you want, you're rolling it up and down. Um, if you do have your set um, heights, you can click just by the automatic there. Then we have our SCVs, our selective control valves. So these are manual. Um, you can have the option of the electrical ones, so more of the paddle pod styles that we see in the larger tractors. Um, so as far as extending and uh, retracting, you have a little diagram here that will help show you that. Um, and then we will move over to all of our soft key buttons here. And what's neat about the 6M is that integrated into your quarter post display over here, we essentially can run through run pages like we would on our larger Gen 4 um, displays that we have. So in order to see what our different run pages look like, we're simply just going to toggle through by using this dial. So we're seeing that we've got a hitch run page and it's showing it's you know, almost all the way up. Um, here we have some different tractor functions, be it with PTO, hours, um, showcasing engine hours, fuel, things like that. Now, if I wanna go through and adjust anything per se, say I just wanna quickly go to the engine run page. I'm just gonna click the engine button and then it's gonna show me those field crew set speed. So here's where you go through and would set those. Um, again, that kind of in minimum engine speed it's trying to get to. We could have information here about our um, engine cleaning, filter cleaning, things like that. So again, it's just really neat that um, we can have a, a moving display like that. 
let's say I want to go straight to my transmission. So transmission modes, if I wanted to take a look at those, I just click the check mark here. Um, and we can look at our eco, adjust from there. Um, power reverser, so sensitivity if you're forward and reverse ratios, things like that. And we can go through and change a lot of those settings. So again, some neat technology that's being brought down from some of our larger row crop tractors. Um, your control setup. So here's where actually we'll talk here about our joystick here in just a moment. But here's where we could configure all of our um, joystick buttons here. So be it with the loaders or SCVs, some automation there as well. Just trying to make our lives easier. Um, next, moving over soft key, we're going to have our hitch, um, our upper limit, our lower limit. Here we can go through and set that, even just our drop rates, our speeds. Next, we have our load depth. So basically um, load sensitivity, things like that back on our hitch. And then last but not least, we have our SCV run page where we can go through and set those up if we want to change any sort of flow settings or um, speed detent or speed settings. Here's where we can go through and do that. So we change our flow settings here. We could change our detent or our time settings as well. Uh, if I want to back out of that, this is also where you might see this icon that's going to showcase any sort of advanced settings. So if we look at our, our SCV advanced settings, what you might see here is um, basically how aggressive your, your SCV controls are to the amount of um, flow that that implement is getting. So if I want to change that from linear, combination, progressive, um, just again, a lot of customizations to be the most efficient we can within our applications. And if we want to back completely out of that, then we're back to some of our basic tractor function run pages. Um, so to finish looking over here at our soft keys, a lot of them are fairly self-explanatory. Um, we have you know, lights, we've got um, our air and heat, where we want those directed, your temperature, your fan speeds. Uh, MFWD, so our four-wheel drive. So we have some different functionalities with four-wheel drive. We basically have three different um, modes that we can run four-wheel drive in. We can run uh, completely off, so that's a two-wheel drive basically. We can run it completely on, or we can run it in auto. So that's going to showcase that. Um, our diff lock, differential lock, so Again, if you can get more of those wet spots um, or just need a little more turning action, things like that, um, your diff lock there, um, your ISO, flashers, lights, and then also another way that we can turn on our power takeoff or our PTO. Um, you've got a different um, format of a power plug back here. And a few more things to highlight would be, again, your USB charging stations that you're going to get in your basic and then also on your standard cabs there. You still have an aux available too. Um, thought this was pretty neat. So if you are running any sort of additional app on an iPhone or a tablet and you have some sort of mount for that, that's a, an option place where you can screw that into uh, to stabilize that. And then the last thing I like to point out is going to be the joystick. Um, again, this is a configurable joystick. Um, you have your lock or unlock, and then also it's only going to work if this hand shield is pushed back. So these can all be configured differently, um, but there is a decal over here that explains a little bit. It's showing, you know, we can change our gears currently with the five and six button, um, loader work, then your SCVs as well, um, and then some more SCV options down here too is with your um, with this icon button there. Last thing I like to point out here is going to be again some more of those creature comforts. So your radio uh, that's up here, you can do um, some more of your rear windshields <laughs> wipers up there as well. Uh, and then some of your vents and whatnot, and then also showcasing these rear blinds as well. So uh, very comfortable cab, um, lots of technology built into it. So now we've taken a good look at the 6M series. 
and we thought about all the versatility that they can be applied to. So whether it be mowing, hay work, light field work, um, snow removal, ditch mowing. Uh, this is just a great universal all around tractor. Lots of options, lots of capabilities. So now let's see what the six R's have to offer.